guys welcome back to my channel so today we get to play with the new huda beauty pretty grunge palette so as you can see this is like mirrored lettering this is just a plastic case and let's see and here is the palette I'm actually pretty surprised, like, now that I open this, there's no... Oh, there is. Just kidding. Wow, it doesn't even look like there's plastic on that. But there is. I was going to say it. It's so funny to me that there's no plastic on the mirror. So anyway. Ah, there is plastic on the mirror, so you get a nice full-size mirror. It's actually really nice, to be honest. Here is the palette. This is the newest release from Huda Beauty. This is called the Pretty Grunge Palette. And I'm gonna be honest, like when I first saw this palette, I was like, that don't look grungy. <laughs> so I was like, I really just was like, I'm not seeing the grunge, like where's the grunge? Um, I am a 90s grungy kid and to me this did not say grunge. But then I was like, you know what? I looked at it. I watched a couple videos of like people using it because I was like, I'm not gonna buy it. Like I'm not gonna do it. And then I was like, mm. and then I saw a video and I was like, but I use a lot of those colors in my everyday. A lot of the cooler tone like mauves and the lighter um peachier toned nude colors and then like brown like this is usually what I use like every day for like my work look so I was like you know what I might get a lot of use out of it even though I was kind of like on the fence because I was like oh it doesn't look grungy I don't need it do I ever need another nude palette no no I do not I have a lot of them I didn't need it but then I was like you know what I talked myself into it because that's what I do I have a very easy time talking myself into things and I was like but it's a new release and you might actually use it a lot and you get 20% off. So I actually used my 20% off because I am a Sephora Rouge member. Don't hate um, and don't judge. Um, I am a Rouge member so I get 20% off during the sale. But I believe if you are a VIB you get 15% and then there's the Sephora collection. You automatically get like a 30% off. So anyway, I talked myself into getting this because I did get 20% off. You know I'm all about my deals and my steals and my coupons. You know what I mean? So anyway, so here's the palette again. And then again, so looking at it, I, th that's what pops out to me are a lot of the cool tones, the lighter tones. But then I was like, you know what? This can get pretty grungy because of the darker colors up here. So to be fair, I am going to go ahead and insert some swatches here on my arm so you can really see what they look like. So, and then on the back of the palette, it says pretty grunge is a way of life. The time to rise up, rebel, and redefine beauty standards. The modern smoky palette is packed with wearable matte shades and nudes, brown, nudes, browns, and eggplants contrasted against decadent sparkly blacks and silvers, multi-chromatic foils, and a grungy black eye gloss for an added edge. So, I'm assuming that's the one down here. It's like a black cream. Again, it's similar to the other palette. So you might be thinking to yourself, how similar is this to the other palette, the um, Empowered palette? So I thought I would go ahead and pull that palette out so you could see a side-by-side -side of the two. So this one here is the Empowered and this one here is the new one. So obviously the Empowered one had deeper tones. It did have, you know, some of the cool tones. It's got gray, it's got the lighter color, it's got some of the mauve over here, but then it goes warmer over here with like the deeper orangey and the peachy, and then with like the pops of gold that they have in there. So I think the two palettes together, you could accomplish quite a bit. And then again, this is a lot darker. It's got more silver, so it's more cool toned. So that is the difference there. Um, this one retails, I'm pretty sure it was $69, but again, I got it for 20% off and you can do the same if you are a Rouge member or you could wait, get the 15% off if you're VIB. I don't know what the 
qualifications are to get the VIB. I know you just sign up for it. So you might be able to get the 15% off. The Sephora, the Rouge discount, I believe ends on Monday, November 6th. So just look into it. You can always save yourself some money. I don't believe it doesn't cost anything or anything like that. I just know to be a Rouge, you have to spend so much. I don't recall about the VIB. So anyway, let's get into it. So if you want to see what looks I create with this palette and how it does, then just keep watching. So I think to start, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Brave. Ooh, and it is focus. It is quite soft. So you do get quite a bit. And I'm just going to take that on this uh, Beauty Bay BB203 brush. It's just a little fluffier brush. This actually has quite a bit more color to it than what I was thinking. And it seems to be a color that is predominantly going to stay where you put it. It's going to be most concentrated upon first application. So you see in here, it's like super concentrated right here where I just pushed first. So go in lightly and build up that color. You're going to have to work like I am to blend it out. Now I will say this brush is a bit fluffier. It's not as dense as what I typically use. But that color is really nice. I'm going to pick up a little bit more really lightly. I'm going to look down. I'm going to go underneath. So I think I want to go in with this color Nirvana next. This one here. Looks like a light eggplanty type color. So I'm going to put that out here. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner and I'm going to go ahead and build up the inner corner and the outer corner to the desired depth of color that I want. And then I'm going to blend across this center portion here. I'm going to go back in with that first brush and just soften that edge. Get a nice blend between the two. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same brush. This is the Morphe M507 brush. I'm going to look down and I'm actually going to bring this color in. In about a third of the way. And then I'm going to put it on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take that first brush and go ahead and blend it out. So now what I'm going to do is I really want to see what this color Strong AF looks like. And this is a Royal and Lang Nickel Silk Pro brush. It's just a flat brush. Um, you can tell I need to wash my brushes, can't you? So I'm going to go ahead, dip into this color. And it's chunky. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right on that center portion. Tap it off. Let's see. Like that deeper color in there, does that become like the undertone? And then, like, I don't even understand how they do that. So it's all right coverage, but I am going to go ahead and pick it up with my finger. That's what it looks like when I pick it up with my finger. So it ends up being a lot darker than what you might initially think. So I'm going to pick up some more and I'm going to get it wet with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray per usual and see how that goes. And I think I'm going to go back into that prior color Nirvana. And just deepen up a little bit just to get a better blend between these two. On the outer and inner portion. That. 
And I'm going to pick up a smidge more of strong AF. I'm going to go in here. Just tap that color on. I think I want to pick up a smidge more of Nirvana. Tip my head back and I really want to just add a little bit more up here in my crease. And then I'm going to take a smidge more of that very first color, Brave. And I just want to add a little bit more of that to blend everything out. It's just going to be a really blown out halo eye. I'm going to bring a little bit more of it down. Like that. So then I think what I want to do is pick up more of that color strong AF. I'm going to get it wet, but I have it on the tip of the brush so I can put it down here. I'm just going to stipple that on. Right in that center. That went on really nice. It went on really easy. I actually had more color payoff than what I was thinking. I'm just going to go ahead and do it like that. I am getting a lot of glittery fallout like all over. I don't know if you can see like all underneath my eye. So just so you know, again, <sighs> don't do as I do. Do your face makeup last. <laughs> so I think now what I want to do is I'm going to use this on fleek brush. It's just like a flat definer brush. And I want to go into this grunge color down here, this black cream. I'm just going to... Dip the brush right in and just kind of wiggle a little bit just to get some of that color into the bristles. And then ever so lightly, I'm going to come up here right above the lash line. And just press that color in. Just like as if it was um, eyeliner. Typically with a halo eye, that's all I do for my eyeliner anyway. I don't typically do a wing. That actually went on really nice. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that eye just like that. I'm going to go ahead and hop over to the other eye. I am going to pick up this round the blend brush. It's from Beauty Bay. It's from that black and gold palette. I want to go into this color Rise Up. Looks like a very pale, like nude beige. And again, you can see how soft the colors are. So just from tipping into that, or dipping into that, <laughs> you can see how soft it is. Tap that off. Is that going to show up? Let's see if I can build that up just a smidge for a transition shade. I don't remember where I was reading, but they were saying like the whole idea was to go from like pretty to grungy. So I'm just going to try to do like a pretty eye, grungy eye. I don't know. I'm going to go underneath. I really want to see what these two colors are like down here. But I think I want to go ahead and go into, I, I kind of wonder how deep this color is going to be because I feel like these three colors would go well together, but I don't know how deep, let's see, this love anarchy color is going to be if it's going to end up being deeper than what it looks like in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up on this Morphe tapered brush. I'm going to go ahead and put that here in the crease and I'm just sticking the tip in and then applying some pressure upward to get it above the crease. So that does have a little bit different depth of color there. It does. It looks deeper. Not by much, <laughs> but a little bit just to add something there. Mm. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'll have another tapered brush. So I'm just going to pick up this ColourPop E27 brush and I want to pick up this color Hope right here. 
It is very deep. Tap that off and then I'm going to go on the outer corner and then into this portion of the crease. So I'm just going to build that up to the depth of color that I want. I'm going to come up a little bit higher above the crease right there. Just because I have hooded eyes, so I'm going to leave that like that. I want to go into this color Rebel. It's super chunky looking. Oh, it looks super soft though, like when you push on it. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be a brush color. I don't know if that's going to pick it up. You can see what I mean. It's not really picking anything up on the brush, but you know, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger. It feels gross. It's like chunky. It just feels chunky and bumpy, but that's what it looks like. Is this gonna be similar to the other color? If so, I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh, did you see that big chunk just fall off? Uh. Big, big chunks on my shirt. That is really pretty. It's weird because it even looks like chunky. Like it's got like chunky bits on my eye. Kind of like it does in the pan, but it looks like when I move a certain way, you see the flecks of pink. It's super pretty. So let's see if I can get, pick some up on a brush. I'm going to get it wet and let's see if that changes anything. The kind of, that's actually a really pretty color. I like that. I like that a lot actually. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Hope and come out here. And then ever so lightly pick up a little bit more of that color and just dab over here to get a better blend. Like that, just a better blend between those two colors out there. And then just because I'm really stinking interested, I really want to see what this color is going to look like. Now I'm going to pick that up on this Beauty Bay 207 brush. It's just a flat brush. Not really picking up much on the brush either. So there's that. All right, we're gonna have to go in my finger. Here's what it looks like. So let's get more of that gold champagne look to it. It's super pretty. I, do, I honestly don't think um, for like a normal look that I would actually put these two together. I really just wanted to see what this color looked like. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's not like it looks bad together. I just feel like I would want to use one as like the focal point of the look, not put both of them together like this. It is not really picking up. Apparently I'm not supposed to use that brush because that's the second time I dropped it. I'm going to pick up this Luxie 245 shader brush. Pick up this color Maverick. I'm not getting much coverage there with the brush the way that I want it. I don't want to keep trying to stick my finger in the inner part of my eye. There we go. I'm going to bring it in like that. I'm going to take that prior color here, Love Anarchy, and I'm going to pick it up on that same brush I used it on. I'm going to look down. And I actually want to bring that color all the way across. And now I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Beauty Bay BB208 brush. Just another flat definer brush. And I'm going to go into this color Hope. And again, I'm just sticking it straight down in and wiggling a little bit just to get the color into the bristles. And then I'm going to put that all along this lower lash line and have it connect in that outer corner. 
I'm going to go back in with that brush again and just blend underneath. I'm going to go ahead and leave both looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I'm going to do some mascara, some eyeliner, and I'll be right back. So here is the finished look. I'll go ahead and cover one eye because I know that might mess some people up. So there's that look. And then I'll cover that one. I'll go ahead and close my eyes. I'll go ahead and zoom out. So I just went ahead and used my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the nude. And then I went over top of that with this Essence semi matte lipstick in Legendary. It says 05 Le Legendary. I really like it. It's nice and soft. It's creamy. It's not sticky because I do not like sticky things on my lips. Um, I went ahead and used, I don't even know where I got this from, to be honest with you. It's called Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Creamy Eye Pencil in Pearl. I don't know, but like it took a lot. Like there was more to that tip. It took that much for me to get like color payoff down here that I felt like was actually showing up. So I don't know where I got this. I don't know. I just grabbed it because I was like, I want to do a nude. And then I love this. This is the Japonesque. Um, it does not have a color, but it's like this deep purpley eggplant. And I was like, oh, that's something that to bring out this like deeper grayish eggplanty color. I thought I almost used teal green and I was like, that might look nice. But then I was like, mm, let me just go with this and just complete the look. But I feel like if I was to redo this look, I'd probably want to put like a deep teal green in there. I feel like it'd really pop. I thought that'd be nice. Um, I should have just done it. I don't know why I didn't. But anyway, so I honestly was having some like buyer's remorse. I was like, why did I buy this palette? I didn't need it. I'm not going to use it. But now after using it, I actually really like it. And I think I'm going to get some use out of it. You know, I was trying to tell myself that to make myself feel better about buying it and then justifying that with my coupon. But I really think like after using it, I really do like how everything applied. I feel like this color here for being this color, you know, it's, it's just... You know, this color is get you. It's like, ooh, what's that going to look like? It's swirly. And I feel like it's a little misconceiving. Like, I know they do it to look cool. But, you know, it is a lot darker. But it is really neat. Because when I turn my head, I do get, like, those, those like, gold shimmers. So, it's pretty interesting. I don't mind it. I don't, I don't dislike it. I feel like it's staying down here a lot better. So... I think on next application, I might actually use that color, but put some glitter glue down. Something a little more tacky, something with a little more adhesiveness to it. Adhesiveness? A little more adhesive to it? Something a little more, I don't know. If it lasts a little better. Through swatch here. So you see, he got a little dimension there. A little bit. Like the color shifts a little. But let me go ahead, blend that out a bit. Come on, camera. And you see all the gold throughout it? I think you just need to realize that, like, that's what you're going to get. So I like how the eye looks. I think I would probably go in and add a little bit of that, like, right on the center. To maybe lighten the look up a little bit like right in that center I don't know I really like a halo eye where it's got that dimension there and then you add that lighter color in the very very center I don't know I just really like how it looks um these colors I don't think I would use the two of them together again but I really like both of them it was really interesting how this one went on so chunky but when I'm up close to my eye I see big chunks of gold I see pink but then it's also got like that undertone 
color to it so it's not just like this flat one-dimensional color it's really weird because i thought it was really weird in the pan like it's chunky it's bumpy it felt really gross <laughs> to be honest but putting it on the eye i'm like oh i can see it's got like texture to it it looks like it has like texture to it to make it more dimensional does that make sense I don't know it's just really interesting I really like it I don't know how long it's gonna last um I probably again might possibly use some glitter glue I've honestly noticed lately with some of the shimmers and things that I'm doing when I wear some of the the shimmers and things to work on my Tuesday and Thursday because it's a really long day I get ready at like seven in the morning and I'm not getting home until seven at night and by the end of the night and I honestly say like halfway through the day probably about one o'clock I noticed that those colors are wearing down so I've been actually using um, some glitter glue to be to keep it more adhered to the eye does that make sense for longer wear for a longer wear time when I'm doing these videos a lot of the time I'm using my setting spray and it lasts for the few hours that I might keep it on sometimes I take it off so it looks good and typically if I'm just getting ready and I'm going out just for a few hours I typically only use my setting spray but if I know I'm gonna be out for a while and be through a lot like a long day at work that's when I'll use the glitter glue to make it last longer so I think I would probably use it under this just to see how long it would last see if it would last longer throughout the day so I really am surprised by this palette I'm not I, I just I don't know there's something to it that's really kind of that's really intrigued me it's really caught my attention and I really enjoy it if you think you are going to get this palette I do suggest you get it on sale use a coupon use a coupon code I don't know where else you can get this from I don't even know I don't think Ulta does Ulta sell Huda? I don't know. Is it just Sephora? I don't think I've ever quite looked into it. Hmm. I'll have to look into that now. But anyway, try to use a coupon um, of sorts through Sephora if you are going to order it. The VIB Rouge goes until 11 6 and then I think the VIB is available after that, and I think they get 15% off. So it's worth checking out to save yourself some money. I don't know if anybody has affiliate codes if you order from, like, HudaBooty.com. Like, is that a thing? I'm sure it might be. Yeah, hudabeauty.com. <laughs> there is. She has a website. So you might be able to go there and save some money. But as always, try to save yourself some money, okay? It's just the smart thing to do. Um, anyway, uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome. I appreciate you. I'm glad you all are subscribing. Um, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Thank you to everybody who's watched my videos. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, and I think I'm just going to end it with that. So I appreciate all of you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this.